Hey, what's going on people, Bearfox here and welcome back to another brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the maximum performance, best FPS, fix all your lags and stuttering in Apex Legends. Once again guys, a lot of you guys have been asking me to make a video on this. So here we are finally making a solid video on Apex Legends. So make sure you guys watch this video till the end. I'm going to be talking about a lot of helpful tips and tricks to get better FPS. So don't skip any part of this video. Also make sure to do leave your specs in the comments below. It's going to be helping me out with the algorithm and I'm going to be replying to each one of you with the best settings. And with all this said, let's roll the intro. Alright, first things first open up your nvidia control panels for that simply go to any empty area of your desktop right click go to show more options and in here select nvidia control panel now once you are in here select adjust image settings with preview and make sure to click on use the advanced 3d image settings then go to manage 3d settings in here go to program settings and then over here select apex legends if it's not already selected in here click on add and then add apex legends into the list now all you have to do is copy the same list that I have over here that is anisotropic filtering off, FXAA off, anti-aliasing mode off, CUDA GPUs all, low latency mode on, MFAA should be off, OpenGL rendering GPU should be your native GPU. Then we have the power management mode which is always preferred to be set to maximum performance. Then highest available refresh rate, also texture filtering on. Uh, negative LOD bias allow anti uh, texture filtering quality should be turned to high performance trilinear optimization should be turned on threaded optimization should be turned on and triple buffering should be turned off once you're done with these settings go to configure surround and physics and then make sure that your physics processor is your GPU once you're done with that simply close your Nvidia control panel and now once you are back over here simply press your windows key and then search for game mode Go to game mode settings and then make sure that game mode is enabled. Then go to graphic settings in here and then make sure to go to change default graphic settings. Make sure that hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is turned on. Go back to graphics and in here click on browse and add Apex Legends into this list. Simply click on Apex Legends, go to options and then click on high performance. Then click on save and you should be done. Once you're done with that, simply open up your Steam and then go to library over here select apex legends right click go to properties and over here just paste this whole line of launch option over here it's going to be affecting your game drastically i'll be leaving this launch code in the description below simply copy and paste it in your game launch options you can paste the same in your origin as well and once you're done with that simply close it now once you're done with the steam settings go and download the quick pc optimization pack i'll be leaving a link to this in the description below and guys this is a must have pack i have not made any apex legends fps pack for now because the last fps pack was working perfectly fine so you guys can go and download the pack as well but this is one of the major part that i want to cover in this video that is in here you will only find one folder that is the cleanup folder and in here there are three batch files you can simply tap and check them what are they doing as for this one it's going to be deleting your temporary files this one will optimize your pc it has a lot of tweaks that are really helpful for your commands and your uh, computer so yep just make sure to run this as well and last one is a remove runtime broker this is going to give you a lot of competitive advantages so to run them simply right click and then run them as administrator so as you guys can see it always shows you this little pop so just here I have to tap any key and then it's going to be deleting all of the unwanted files that is in your PC. Now once you're done with that, you can simply close it. Simply do the same to all of these and you are really good to go. Now once again to fix all your network problems, I highly recommend you guys to use ExitLag. ExitLag is a free to use application for 3 days, you can download it from the link in the description below. Once you've downloaded and installed ExitLag, the interface should look like this. As you guys can see on the screen, we have the uh, list over here which has over 250 games to choose from. Simply look up for Apex and add it over here. For the game region, you have to select the nearest region to you, for me that is Dubai 01 and always click on use routes within my country first that's going to be allowing your uh, game to run much faster and then once you have added it simply click on apply routes go to tools section 
and then go to FPS boost section and then make sure sure the two of these options are enabled and the second last option is also enabled. Once you're done with that, simply close the exit lag, let it run in the background. Now once again guys, as I said, you can use exit lag for free only for three days, but after three days, you have to get a subscription plan for exit lag. But don't worry, I got you guys covered. You can get monthly, semi annual, or quarterly subscription over here. And if you get any of them, you can get flat 20% off by using code BearFox20 on your first purchase. So make sure to choose wisely. Now, once you're done with all of those settings, let's drop into Apex Legends for the best FPS settings in game. Alright, so once you are in game, press your escape key and then go to settings. In the settings section, go to the video settings and then make sure that you apply the same settings as me. For the display mode, go to full screen, native resolution and for the resolution, keep it your native resolution. You can either downscale the resolution to lower ones because that will reduce your GPU load allowing you to get much better FPS performance. But at the same time, you're gonna be losing quality. So that is your choice. Then coming down to advanced, make sure that VSync is disabled and video reflex is enabled. Scroll down and aliasing should be turned off. For texture streaming budget, I highly recommend you guys to set it according to your GPU. If you have a good or better GPU, you can go with high or medium. And if you have a low-end PC, go with low and very low. For me, I'm gonna be going up with very high. For texture filtering, scroll it down until bilinear or trilinear. Both of them are very good. Then for ambient occlusion quality, make sure to keep it high. Sun shadow coverage and sun shadow detail, keep it low. For spot shadow detail, you can keep it high or low, whatever it is, it doesn't affect much on your game. Volumetric lighting should be disabled. Dynamic spot shadows should be enabled. Model detail, effect detail and ragdolls should be kept to low and impact mark should be kept to low or high. This is not going to impact your game. But once you're done with all of these settings, you are basically set to play Apex Legends on the best quality FPS. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could, make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button down below. It seriously helps me out a lot. Also, don't forget to leave your specs in the comments below because I'm going to be replying to each one of you individually. So we'll meet you in the next video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching by Fox and peace out.